Hello everyone, Chet from Fight Breakdown. I just want to give my opinion on the uh, Tyron Woodley Colby Covington fight that is going to take place in a few hours. Today is September 19, 2020, 6 o'clock. I just want to give my prediction as actually the fights are going on right now. I just want to say that I think uh, Covington is going to win. Uh, if you take all of the emotion and hype out of it, you especially if you're betting, you want to do that and try to pick the fighter who has the highest percentage of winning. Uh, to me, betting on fights is kind of like poker, right? You don't have a guaranteed outcome, right? There's a uh, chance involved. So the best that you can do is try to consistently uh, play uh, percentages. And I think just looking at both fighters, uh, especially their past performances, of course, they don't indicate future results, just like the stock market. Um, but if that's the information that you have to go on, uh, I would take uh, that plus other factors and I would go with Kobe Covington. So first, we'll take a look at Tyron Woodley real quick. First of all, he's 38. Um as you can see right here, 5'9", 170, right? As an impressive record, of course, 19-5 former champion. And that's all good. We all saw his uh, recent performances, right? Lost to Gilbert Burns. Lost to Kamaru Uzman, right? Nothing necessarily with, wrong with losing per se, but it's, it's how he lost. Uh, he was completely uh, dominated by Uzman. Right for the title, but that just might show how great Usman is. Uh, he completely uh, made Tyron look like a different fighter, and Tyron um, even admitted that he didn't feel like himself that fight. Now that could be a result of what Kamaru Usman was doing. But then I remember um, before the Gilbert Burns fight that there was a lot of hype around that that he was gonna come back, let his hands go, be the old Tyron Woodley. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And that you know he he was back, and he he came and he did a little bit better against Burns, but at the end of the day, he you know he was taken down a lot, um, and kind of just dominated by Burns. It was a one-sided affair. Um, interestingly enough, remember uh, Woodley at one time was a D1 wrestler. And has one of the highest takedown percent defense percentages in the uh, UFC. So um, it's interesting. These uh, last two fights is basically like he's just like a different, you know, uh, maybe he's like lost a step. So again, you can lose. They're, they're both good fighters. But to me, it's the way he lost. He looked like lethargic. Maybe his mind is in a different place. He has a lot of things going on, right, with the rapping, you know, trying to break in the entertainment world. Then you got to throw Father Time in there, who's the master of us all, right, at 38 years old. Uh, and I personally just don't think he's the same fighter anymore. Now, a lot of people will get um, convinced by the interviews that, oh, my God, so much is on the line. He has to win, et cetera, et cetera. And me, I chalk that up to emotion. And I would never let that sway me. You know, somebody talking in the interview. Because, listen, guys are trying to sell a fight. They always, how many times have you heard, oh, that's the this is the best training camp I had. Or, you know, I'm in the greatest shape ever. And then they go out there and get smashed. Right? Because you, you don't really know, you know. Um, and I think emotion is a bad um, you know, a bad thing to use as motivation anyway because, again, once you go out there, you had that big adren adrenaline dump, then next thing you know, you're done after that. You're, you're super tired, right? So the whole thing, you know, it's going on, you know, bringing, you know, the Black Lives Matter um, issues in, into, the, into the cage. I just think that the burden on Woodley is going to be very... Uh, um, heavy to bear And I think his decline uh, In performance um, Plus with all the out of the ring activities um, And just feeling like Maybe he has to carry the weight To represent 
you know, certain demographic. Um, I just think it's just going to be uh, too much, too much uh, for him. I, I, I believe this is one of those cases that if he fought Covington, you know, three years ago, four years ago, he defeats Covington. But Covington is catching him, you know, on the downside of things, you know, late in his career. And uh, I had to give Covington the nod in that fight. Reminds me of kind of like, uh, you know, Mike Tyson fighting Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes is, you know, he's retired, comes back two years later, and he's, you know, past his prime. Yes, Tyson beat him, but, you know, he was old. Same with Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano. Joe Lewis, Jersey Joe, I'm not, I'm sorry, uh, Rocky Marciano and Jersey Joe Walcott. You know, Walcott is old again. And I believe that he's catching Woodley at the right time. So, um, again, there's always the puncher's chance. But if we're playing the percentages, I think the percentages are more in Covington's favor. I think if Woodley's going to win, he's going to win by a knockout. He's going to have to catch him maybe in the first round, you know, and um, stun him and and just, you know, kind of blitzkrieg uh, Covington. Um, whereas I can see Covington winning by decision. And winning by stoppage. I don't really see either one winning by submission. Although Woodley uh, does have a black belt. Uh, I don't really see him winning by submission. But I, I can see him winning a path for him to win more by knockout. With Kobe, I see him winning either by stoppage or a decision. Another thing I didn't mention too. We have Kobe Covington here. Is his stamina. We definitely know that uh, Kobe, Kobe Covington's stamina is extremely high and Wo and Woodley tends to gas out a little bit too so that is another factor again when you going down the checklist another factor in uh, Covington's favor so let's look at Covington real quick age 32 so 32 versus 38 year old right it, it you know they're young in just civilian terms but hey in the fight game 38 is is old right in sports in general you know, like in any sport, 38 is kind of old. Like you don't usually see them at the top, you know, 38 years old, 38 year old uh, players at the top of the game in many sports. Of course, there's all, always outliers, you know. Let's look at his last few fights. Okay, so it's been a while. December 14th, 2019. So it's almost, you know, been a year, right? Um, nine, ten months. And... Um, he lost to Kamaru Uzman, uh, for the, uh, championship, which was a, a great fight. May even been tied going into the last round. Okay. Very, very great fight. And Uzman maybe go down as one of the greats. I mean, he, he, he's a tough dude. And the fact that him and Covington went back and forth like that. And again, with Woodley and, um, Covington having both for Uzman, Uzman totally just dominating um, Woodley, but not really do not really dominating uh, Covington like that. That fight was back and forth, and then Uzman, you know, wound up winning in the end. But it was definitely a lot closer. That's another thing, as a you know, a side note that you could add in the fact that they had a similar uh, opponent. Okay, um, so that's basically. Um, Covington's only loss except for 2015, which we can, you know, do I need to mention that? Does that, is that even relevant? So that's so far back that, um, we can't even, uh, really go, you know, really talk about that. Um, now, uh, Covington doesn't have that many knockouts. So he more of like, he's more of like a motor guy, like high, high motor grind decision. Right, I mean, he just ragdolled. I mean, he killed Robbie Lawler. I mean, that was like, but again, Robbie Lawler, same spot to me as Woodley, kind of on the downside of the career. And when you see him on the fight, you know, um, on the list of fight, you, you, your emotions get in the way, and you think you're seeing the same guy of old. You know, it's something about fighters like we don't want to imagine them getting old. Like we, like, like for instance, one of the Diaz, but right, Nate Diaz is coming back. You think he's gonna be the same Nate Diaz from 2006? Like, it's just not it's gonna happen. But it's just like our emotions think like, oh man, maybe they got one more in them. 
Yo, maybe they got one more fight. And it's kind of like, I think that's kind of like the vibe a lot of people have with Woodley. They just want to see that explosion one more time from Woodley. They want to see those hands go. You know, and he just might not be able to do it anymore, you know. Um, that's just a fact of, of fighting. So if I'm betting my money, right, um, you know, you got to go with the, the uh, you got to go with the uh, the favorite here. Oh, I, I will be going with the favorite here in uh, uh, Kobe Covington. So that's my breakdown of that fight. You know, I, I would, uh, I know people want to go with Woodley, but um Ah, I wouldn't I wouldn't put my uh you know and of course if you go with Woodley being the underdog, was it uh he's like a two twenty two two sixty uh under uh underdog plus two sixty underdog on DraftKings and Colby Covington is uh minus three thirty five favorite. So yeah, it's easy to you know, throw throw a little bit of change on Woodley and say, ah, you might catch him with a, you know, knockout. So if I did bet on Woodley, it would be like just a, a it would just be, a, you know, some throwaway money, right? Just in case I got lucky. But who do I think is going to win? I think it's going to be Covington, and I think it's going to just be by decision. So it's going to be kind of like um, a grinding, a lot of ground and pound, mauling, Woodley kind of like hanging hanging in there, but it's just looking bad. And if it is stopped, it's going to be a towel stoppage. But like I said, I think it's going to be one of those like just smalling um, the whole the whole fight. And then uh, if Woodley gets beat bad enough, he, he might just retire in the ring. That might be it. But I definitely see it going uh, going that way. All right. So that's my prediction. Um, let me know what you guys think out there. What's your predictions? You know, if you got Woodley, you got Kobe Col- Col- Covington, how's it going to end? It's going to be knockout. It's going to be decision, submission. Uh, let me know. All right. So I'll see you guys soon. Please support my channel too. And check out my other videos. A lot of fight breakdowns and be in the BJJ world as well as the boxing world uh, too. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the fights tonight if you're watching them.